Hi everyone, my name is Lempi Taruve and this is the introduction to my course. I'm a road designer with some expertise in infrastructure building, information modeling, and today we're going to dive into this assembly composer and explore its capabilities. First of all, benefits of mastering subassembly composer. While Civil 3D provides a library of pre-built subassemblies, subassembly composer takes it a step further. Subassembly Composer is a powerful tool that allows to create custom subassemblies which can be used in Civil 3D. Custom subassemblies give us more control and flexibility in our designs. We can accurately represent unique design elements and tailor our designs to specific project requirements. That means improved accuracy, efficiency and ultimately better designs. My course is divided into five parts. First part is an introduction into the software. Here, we are going to cover the interface of the subassembly composer. Second part will cover functionality of the subassembly composer using sample PKT files, which are available for free on our Autodesk help page. Also, we will cover the API functions, which are fundamental for creating subassemblies of any level of complexity. Third part will cover my own approach of creating custom subassemblies. Here, I'll show different sub-assemblies which I have created over time and explain the creative process behind them. To be able to understand the logic behind custom sub-assemblies, you should be familiar with, with the software interface and the API functions, which are, will be covered in the first two parts. Fourth part is for the advanced users. The main goal of this section is to show limitations of the software and possible workarounds. Fifth and the last part is meant for the future videos and updates. For example, when a significant update is released, or something needs to be covered, which was not included in previous parts. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started.